In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily add a YouTube card or cards to any YouTube video that you have. So first of all, what is a YouTube card? Well, if we go to one of my YouTube videos, you'll see at the top right here, there is this little eye. And this eye is where a YouTube card will appear. So you'll be watching a video and suddenly there will be a recommended video that pops up here at a predetermined time that directs you to another video. This is a great way to keep people on YouTube, to get them to click through to one of your other videos. Now it's my personal opinion that you shouldn't have these appear on your videos too soon. You want people to watch the bulk of the intended video before they potentially get drawn over to another video. But how do you add these? Well, you want to go into your YouTube Creator Studio. You'll want to choose a video. So I've got a video here. This video is currently unlisted. And if we scroll down here on the right hand side, you will see this section here called cards. So let's click on this. And you can add any of these different cards. You can add a video card, a playlist card. You can add a card which links to a YouTube channel or you can add a link to an external website. So let's say that we want to link to another video. So we have to determine where in this video we want the card to appear. So let's say I want the card to appear after 25 seconds. So I'll kind of hover over here, I'll click once, then I'll come up here to video, click once, and I'll choose any of my videos. So ideally I'd want to choose a related video. But just to demonstrate this, I'll choose this one. And now we can see here that this pops up. So when somebody goes to watch this YouTube video, after 25 seconds, this video is only a very short one, this will appear and then they can be directed, if they want to, to watch another video on my channel. It's a great way to keep people on your channel, but the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to when you start to mention a certain topic in your video and you have another video which delves deeper into that topic, this is a great way to bring up that YouTube card. So this particular video talks about AI for social media traffic. So if in this video, I suddenly started talking about AI or social media traffic, then at that point, that would be a great you know, time to add that card. And we can also delete the card here. So we've got rid of this. If you want to add a playlist, it works in the same way. We can click on this and we can choose a playlist. And this way they've got all of the videos they can check that's on that playlist. Let's get rid of that. We can add a channel as well. Any channel on YouTube doesn't have to be your own one. You can just do a search for a channel here. So I could just type in the word Japan and I could just choose a random channel based on Japan. Let's click on that one. And I have to have a message. So I might put check out Japan. There we go. And then I can add a teaser text, watch now. And then we can see that the card populates here. I'm going to get rid of that. The final option is to add a link to an external website. So you want to put a link to one of your websites. Let's go and grab a URL. Okay, we can paste the URL in here, wait for it to load up. And then if it's accepted, we can then hit apply. And we again, we have to go through the same thing. So we've got to add a call to action. So I might put learn more, click now. I'm going to make this a lot smaller and then if we want to we can add a little image here so I can click on this and I can upload a custom image or it's going to pull an image from the site so we can pull that one and now we have a link that links out to an external website so you can put these cards wherever you want in your video you can put several of these cards you don't just have to have one you could have you know up to five I believe and again it's a great way to direct people to other YouTube videos, your website, playlists, etc. So that's how easy it is. I'm going to discard changes because I don't want to do it now. You can also do this as you upload a video as well. It's the same process, but that's how you add a YouTube card or cards to any YouTube video that you have. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave them below and I'll speak to you soon.